Welcome back. I'm joined now by Tisha Patello on behalf of the VA Western Colorado Healthcare System. And today we're talking about a program that I know you said was in development for about a year and you're mm -hmm. just starting to introduce it now. So mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit. What is this program? Well, great. Um, the program is called the Intimate Partner Violence Assistance Program. The aim of the program is to work with veterans, their partners, as well as VA employees. And specifically, we want it to be a comprehensive program. So the program will be working with um, veterans that use violence, veterans that experience violence, and or VA employees. Okay. Um, and so I know this was in development for a while, we just mm -hmm. said. What kind of do you think prompted the development of this program? Was it something that you thought would be a good addition to the community, or did you see a need in the community for this? Well, that's a wonderful question. Um, the inspiration actually comes nationwide. The VA itself has launched the Intimate Partner Pro Program. Um, so every VA now has uh, the requirement to have an intimate partner violence assistance uh, coordinator. And so I'm the coordinator for VA Western Colorado. Okay. Um, so then veterans and their partners and their families, if they want to get involved, what exactly does it entail for them to reach out to you and, and learn mm -hmm. more about the program? So reaching out is very simple. You can call the VA. You can ask to speak with the social worker. You can ask to speak with your primary health care provider or any other service provider. One of the new things that we have on the um, horizon and one of the reasons to come out today is really to talk about um, strength at home mm -hmm. and so strength at home um, we've been selected as a site uh, to uh, be able to provide this service uh, in the future so we'll be working over the next probably eight nine ten months um, to become a provider so the program itself is a 12-week group therapy that mm -hmm. focuses on um, veterans that might um, have difficulties in their relationship um, including the use of violence. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a wonderful program, it's evidence-based, and we want to get the word out and let people know. We also want to be working with our community partners mm -hmm. to let them know that this service is coming and will be available. Perfect. And so then, um, when do you think you're going to start uh, actually then accepting people <laughs> and, and doing the program? Well, we're expecting the trainers hopefully sometime before April, okay. and we are looking at um, launching immediately. Wow. Um, from that point. Wow, mm -hmm. okay, so coming up in the next couple months then. Um, yeah. And so then, uh, again, we talked a little bit about how people can get involved. Um, and uh, is there any, is there like a website that people can go to in case they want more information, if there's something that they think that this might be, um, you know, something that they were recommended for or good mm -hmm. for their own home life? I know that we mentioned that before, but just to make sure people know. Yeah, so really we have the VA Western Colorado Healthcare uh, System website. Um, my contact information, of course, is available. Um, I'm, I can um, give that to you now. My number is 970-244-1312, and anyone is welcome to call at any time, whether you're a partner, a veteran, or a veteran partner, um, to get some more information. Perfect. Okay, thank you so much for coming on. Again, we will have that information also on our website, westernsofnow.com, so it's on there as well. Um, we're going to be right back with your full weather forecast. Thank you again for coming on today. Thank you. Thank you.